The baby amateur Labour MP Nadia Whittam is humiliated on live TV for falsely claiming that the NHS is being sold out. Well, once again we are seeing these amateurish MPs, these babies, literally a baby, uh, who is way too young to be a member of parliament and way too inexperienced, lack of real world experience and also just generally speaking completely crazy socialist. Uh, these people go go to parliament, go on TV, you know, in, in the press as well, write things and say things that's completely nonsensical. The NHS, since the first lockdown, have undermined themselves. It's been exposed finally after all these years that people like me have been saying the NHS doesn't work as a model. It's, it's letting down the patients, it's letting down the taxpayers, it's letting down the actual doctors and nurses, the good ones who are trying to do their jobs and they can't because the model doesn't work. Now, Nadia, was on Politics Live, and uh, it's rare that I usually um, show you BBC footage, but I'm going to show you this BBC footage because it's absolutely hilarious. She lied about this latest uh, NHS bill. Now, in fact, it's actually making the NHS bigger and more nationalised, so the opposite of privatisation, yet she can lie about it. The Tory party doesn't want to privatise the NHS. And Really doesn't. Some of your and colleagues it just really do, It just really doesn't. And, and um, it, it's a tragedy in some ways, because I can listen, listening to you, it's obvious you've got lots of experience that I certainly could learn from that you have that I don't have, and lots of interesting things to say. And then you say you don't want to get bogged down in privatisation, uh, but you do want to get bogged down in it. <laughs> That's the thing. I mean, firstly, she, it, before she kept saying, and it, it, throughout like Parliament, she always says that, oh, I don't, I don't want to you know, get involved with you know, talking about NHS privatisation, let's talk about the real problems. Yet, the whole topic on Politics Live, classic BBC bias, was that is the NHS heading for privatisation because she wanted to talk about it. Then she was saying that, well, let's, let's not, you know, get bogged down in the length of this area. But you, you brought it up. It is but that why, we why on earth are we not talking about the fact that people, we're, we're set for the, the worst winter in the history of the NHS, according to, to many staff members. Every winter is the worst winter for the NHS, according to the staff members, by the way. All right. People are waiting an hour, almost an hour, yep. for an ambulance to arrive when they've had a suspected heart attack or a stroke. Six million people are on NHS waiting lists. There are vacancies of almost 100,000. In social care, it's even worse. Okay, exactly. That's what we're saying. Because this is the problem that you guys have created. The statists, the big government politicians who are making the NHS even more bureaucratic and bigger. Yet you're saying, I wonder why the NHS doesn't work. I wonder why the A&E targets are not being met. I, I wonder why there are no ambulances. Hmm. Why do you think, Nadia? Why do you think? And this is a massive lie. And she has to just like, calm down and actually read more about the realities of healthcare. You divert every conversation about the NHS which we need to have into a pointless discussion about a privatisation that's not happening. We don't discuss any of the fundamental issues as a result. And you have to think about the tactics you're using. You can't say you don't... Yes, absolutely spot on. This is exactly the whole problem. We are trying to say these are the issues. And then you come out just like make everything political. The NHS has been used as a political tool for years and years. But, and we keep saying it, they keep getting exposed, the politicians, both parties, right now the Tories are also worse than the Labour Party when it comes to uh, worshipping the NHS religion. But this is absolutely embarrassing. Uh, they, they finally had some experts actually come and discuss their realities. She still didn't really want to hear the truth. On Nadia's third point, no, I think um, she's not right to be concerned. I don't think there's, there's anything to be concerned about in relation to privatisation, in relation to this bill. Um, this bill, if anything, um, as, as some other Labour MPs who, who have been following this closely and, and, and know a lot about the health service have made the point, this bill, if anything, brings the, an end to um, contestability and the internal market in the NHS. So it is not... Did you see her face? <laughs> She didn't want to hear it. But can we just settle this debate down for like for once, once and for all, just stop it. Just please stop it. Because it's, you remember uh, President Trump was coming to London uh, um, I would say a couple of years ago and it, the whole thing came up because they said, oh, well, this is it. It's, it was the end of his presidency and Boris is going to sell the NHS to Trump. Why would anyone, why would Trump or anyone want to even buy the NHS. It's not that valuable in, in terms of assets. So it's absolutely, it's just complete liability. This is a lie and we have to completely uh, block 
these that, that sort of and rhetoric that is being created by these idiots now if you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe to the channel and click on the bell next day we'll be back soon with more updates throughout the day